What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Dealer Auto Auction for another walk around, and we've got a special guest with us today, Remember Monkey me? Wrench Mike. You said it right. I said it right. Thank you so much. And he's looking at a Chevy Impala. I love my Impalas. Oh yeah, is this yeah. you right this here? Is, this is me. <laughs> I've had this many Impalas. <laughs> You're not really a Chevy guy. I've never had a Chevy. Net, wow. You are really missing out, man. I've never owned a Chevy. Uh, you're going to get a lot of hate for that. <laughs> yeah. Chevy FTW. What's FTW? Well, it could mean F the world, oh, or it could mean for the win. For the win. Yeah. Chevy for the win. I think this is what you need right here with the dented roof. Look at all the content. There's content for days. Yeah. I'm looking for a truck for you, too. I haven't told you yet. Me, too. I found you something. Oh, it's no. at a, it's at a certain auction. It's not this one, but uh, I got a feeling it's going to go really, really cheap. How much rust? Does it have floorboards? No, 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 no. It's got no rust. <laughs> There's no rust. No, it's, it's, it's. I, I, it's in one of my walk around videos. So you better watch oh. every one of my okay. walk around videos, and then you might find out. You're cranking out two a day. Three. <laughs> How many? Four. Four. Times four some today. Days. Four today. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you ain't going to be able to see what I'm trying to get you. But I said in the video, I said, you know, I'm not sure he wants another gift again, another gift from me. You know? Oh, I love gifts. The, like the F-150? That was... Because I found that, one that may be even worse than that one. That just kept on giving. <laughs> see? <laughs> so many headaches and busted knuckles and... It's, it's good oh, for you, Mike. It's it good is. for you. So this is what I call Repo Corner. There, there's uh, two different repo places on this yard here and this is one of them but this is dedicated to a company called the key and i always walk through and just show everybody like what kind of repossessions we've got sitting over here yeah. this has been here for a while subaru legacy this is new this has been here which tells me that they want more for it than they're probably going to be able to get it's got thirty-seven thousand original miles on it okay yeah it's very low mileage but you know something happened to the roof up there <laughs> i don't know what the deal is and with that this escape that's damage? what I mean, i'm wondering here. it just it looks like the repo guy was taking it and they beat it with a baseball bat but they made sure not to get the pillar just the roof yeah I, I don't know i don't know how that happens so repo corner here is looking a little empty because last time i was here i think i counted like i don't know 20 cars mm -hmm. and now there's what one two three four five this is you right here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. The Beetle. Oh, now, see, this right here, I'll drive one of these. I like I how will. they tried to masculine it up or push it up. You know? <laughs> it's, it's not as it's, girly as uh, it before, but it's still kind of girly. Especially in black. Yes. I think it just, it looks a lot more masculine. This is a 2014 with 73,000 miles on it. But it's a Volkswagen, so it's probably already mechanically totaled. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. I'm curious about this one just a little bit because I've been telling everybody I'm going to buy one of these at some point. I don't know if this is the one. It looks like it's probably dead. The window's down. Of course. No leather. A Volkswagen with no leather? I thought Volkswagen. Never mind. It's not upscale. This is a, this is a Beetle. Oh, the key was left on. I love when they do that. Yeah. That means it was running and they don't want anybody else to buy it. So you should. Oh. This is a Dodge key. <laughs> this is somebody lost. This is to a 2014 red Dodge Ram. So if you see a, if we see it. Yeah. <laughs> whoops. Somebody must have had the key. I wonder, see that red Ram over there with the Where diesel pipe? Here? Yeah. I wonder if that goes to that. It if it does, we'll go put it back in there because could you imagine bringing a car to auction and then whoops, yeah. ain't got no keys. If we find a 2014 red Ram, we will come back here and get the key and put it where it belongs. This is kind of nice though. It's really not bad, even with the cloth seats. I like the interior, it's cool. I would drive it. I just got a feeling they're probably going to want more for it. It seems like some of their cars they really want more for them than a 
you know, realistically they're going to bring. Yeah. So, but look at this one right here. I didn't even see this. What are the, like 24s on, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, those are special. Man. This is a Buick. Wouldn't you really rather drive a Buick? I thought it was a Mercedes, Mike. Buick Encore. I really did. I thought this was a, a new Mercedes. Yeah. Buick has really outdone themselves. I don't think those are factory. <laughs> these would do really well with the Oklahoma City potholes. <laughs> oh, you know? I'm sure. What size? These got to be like 22s or something. They are uh, 24s. 24s. You know, wow. Really comfortable. Oh, I'll bet this thing rides like absolute crap. And, <laughs> you know, it goes back to what I've said this in a few videos lately where I find these crappy cars but have really nice rims and they're at the auction and then you've got something like this is actually a decent looking vehicle mm -hmm. and the rims i think make it look absolutely hideous these these look these look really bad <laughs> listen i don't know what they paid for the wheels but look at those tires those are new they still have the white markings uh -huh. down these are relatively new tires probably new wheels and tires they put them on the vehicle now the vehicle's repossessed and it's sitting out here waiting for you, how many car payments do you think you could have made? Or wheel payments. Well, yeah, that's they. it could be from a, a tire rental place or, yep. you know, one of those finance your wheels here. Yep. Come on, man. You got to make better financial decisions. And listen, if I'm telling you you got to make better financial decisions, <laughs> you have a big problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just take a quick a quick look at it oh wow yeah count the boy it's ugh, the smell oh there's a here well there you go mike i can add that to my your collection you want any of these black ices you can have those yeah. too no this is look cool. here's like another one <laughs> look i'll look at this <laughs> there you go mike look perfect see yeah and it, it it's totally it, you that green is. really that is marijuana green <laughs> we won't talk about that video with you and Missy in it, right? No. And how, yeah. My dealer friend? No, I'm <laughs> yeah. totally kidding. Totally kidding. Don't ask me to edit that because it ain't happening. <laughs> we're, we're, you, uh, you might find some in here too. Oh, look, here's another look. one. This Wan? is obviously a person of style. Twan. Twan? Twan. Twan. Make sure that's an N and not a T. <laughs> it took me a minute to get that, but I got it. <laughs> I got it. An Allen key. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's not much in here. That air conditioner sure feels nice, though. Mm -hmm. It's got no gas. Tire pressure monitor. Android could not connect. Oh, uh, okay. So they put new wheels and tires on it, but they didn't get TPMS sensors. You know, you know, yeah, I think I'll spend $4,000 on wheels and tires, but you know what? Skip the $300 tire sensors. I don't need those. Somebody Is it bad back there? In the back. Oh, no. Are you serious? Yeah. Someone Julia's AO3S. Yeah. So Julia and Tuan. Was that right? Tuan? Tuan. Yeah. Tuan and Julia. Well, let's take a look and see how bad it is in the back. Oh, wow. That's... Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty rough. And a box of nails. A box of nails. Gee, I wonder what's in the trunk. This is the most random car ever. Let's take a look and see if there's anything back here. Just floor mats. And lots of water because it's rained a lot today. Oh, this is so... It's so dirty. To be so new and be so dirty. Yeah, it's honestly kind of sad. This is probably a, a decent vehicle i don't know i know nothing about a buick encore but probably like a chevy Trax or something like that well i have zero interest the sad thing is is you would think that the wheels would add value to the right. vehicle right but in this case i would pay less look how they stick out like they don't even fit you know i can, it changes the whole dynamic of the suspension. It's not right. 
it's in fact it could make it more dangerous so i'm looking at it and i'm like i would pay less for this because i know i'm gonna have to ditch those wheels and go buy some stocks to put on it plus it's got some looks like a little bit of hail damage here and there i would drive it other than the wheels what do you think might sit next to it i like the f-150 another ford yeah xlt four doors room for you and lola and my duck with the lamp and your duck wait i thought that duck died no she's she's hanging on no the one with the limp from oh a long time ago they got eaten yeah, by lucky something he wasn't so lucky and got eaten but so your new ducks have Beamer a and ben's yeah they got hurt benzo, benzo well she's always had like a defect a defect yeah since she was young but now that she's big and grown Heavy. it's that's how she walks you need to take those ducks and go throw them in a pond somewhere and just walk away. <laughs> let nature let nature take its course, man. <laughs> no, every morning I, I let them out, and every night I walk them right into the little pen, drag the pen into the garage, close the door. So they're behaving. They're good ducks. Two times a day. They're killing me, but they're great ducks. <laughs> yeah. Well. This is nice. It's a little scratched up, but yeah. You can put your ducks in. Oh, man. Come on. You could put your ducks in the back of this one. You got to be careful opening these doors because there's not very much, not very much room. And the window's down back there. 43,000 miles. This will probably go for some money. What happened back here? It's actually pretty clean, isn't it? Yeah. Well, except for the floor mats. Seats look pretty good. Yeah. No funny smells. <laughs> it smells all right. Some kind of a cleaner, yeah. you know. It beats some of the smells I smell out here, man. Probably just a little V6. There's a little bit of fender overlap. Ugh, I can't squeeze through here. I still got more weight to lose, I swear. I'm curious what engine's under the hood of this. Is it a... 3.5 EcoBoost? Is it a 5.0 Coyote V8? Or is it the crappy little 2.7 liter EcoBoost? And the verdict is 2.7. Womp, 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 womp. Yeah, they took the cover off of this. It's got new struts. No kidding. It's got brand new struts on both sides. Oh, okay. Why would a truck with 47,000 miles, what year is this, 19? This is a 20. Why would a three-year-old truck with 40,000 miles need new struts? No idea. Huh. That's a little, that's a little concerning. Mm -hmm. Was it in an accident? Well, there is an overlap, I think, on this fin. Yeah, big one. Big gap right here. Yeah, I look it around. Has it been painted? Uh, yeah, these have been moved. Yeah. The bolts have been removed. But a whole new set of shocks on the front struts. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, huh? Well, police trackable. There you go. That's that's all we needed. That's, <laughs> <laughs> nope, I don't want it. I don't want. You know, I just realized on the Beetle, the hood's got a lot of like dent, a lot of dents in it whole lot of dents in the hood of that all over it's hard to see but when you get it at the right angle and lots of scratches too you know what you need to do you need to put the, these wheels oh good lord the beetle. that would look great. that would that would that, it all up. oh yeah it would do something wouldn't that be cool <laughs> well that depends on your definition of cool but yeah <laughs> for some people it, it would it would be cool yeah what's that called Donk donking yeah donking, donking. Which I don't understand. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. But you know, to each their own. Mm -hmm. Just it ain't for me. Here you go, Mike. This one's for you. Don't you have one like this? Well, mine's a diesel. Yeah. You know, you should just take over my payments. I don't drive mine anymore. I parked it. You want? I'd let you, you take one it. One month of your payments is what I buy entire cars for. Well. Yeah. It's just sitting down in buyers. I don't use it. It's been sitting out in the sun for a long time. I don't. I need to get rid of it, Mike. Yeah. And I've I'm upside down on it, so what? you want to be upside down on a truck? We'll swap it all over. 
<laughs> I would love to get that thing off. I'm telling you, my idea is at least for a while, I want, I mean, number one, I'm tired of, sh of crappy gas mileage. Yeah. So I get like 16 on a good day out of the truck, but I want to start driving cars again. You know, good size cars, comfortable cars, but uh, I want better fuel economy is what I want. The payment's enough. And then you tack on to that the cost of fuel, diesel at four something a gallon. Yeah. It gets it gets yeah. rough. And how often do I need to use that truck? I don't just use when, like, it. A friend needs to borrow it. To yeah, go just. To Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> I rarely use my truck or my trailer anymore. So I was like, man, I got to get rid of this truck. So the goal is to find another truck, something I can just buy. Yeah. And then I can use it and then flip it and then buy another one, use it and flip it. The goal is drive all of my cars, right? Buy a bunch of cars. Imagine that. I'll just drive them all. And then when I'm done, I can sell them, hopefully get most of my money back. And it didn't cost me anything. See? Yeah, no maintenance, yeah. no nothing. I don't remember last time I had a car payment. I mean, it's been seven, eight years or something. Well, you're I, you're I, smart. I'm buying crappy cars. Well, I'm buying crappy cars too. Some of them are crappy. <laughs> some of them have gotten nicer, but some of them are definitely crappy cars. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with crappy cars. And there's definitely nothing wrong with not having a car payment. That's huge. It's, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking, boy, if I didn't have two car payments right now, I would have a lot more money in the bank. But I'm not going to get rid of Jessica's Mustang. That's her car. That's her right. car. She's earned that by being a great woman. Is this for a tuner? That was thing? for some kind of a tuner. Okay. And I don't know what that is. This yeah. is you. This is probably going to go relatively cheap. It's consolidated asset recovery, I think, or recovery. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is a repo. A lot. There's so many repos out here. It's a 2015, so it's a little older. It's got 150,000 miles on it. You got the good 5.7, tried and true, reliable Hemi V8. Mm hmm. You got aftermarket wheels. I like the wheels. Looks like the tires are pretty dang good too. Uh -huh. The body doesn't look too bad. I don't like the tinted tail lights. I'd have to, I'd have to re. And they did a bad job on them. They, just, yeah. They look really bad. But this is not a bad looking truck. Not at all. It's a tradesman, so it's like a base base model. How's it smell? Ah, it smells good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just pulled that out of the seat. Are you serious? There's something in it. Oh, no. Are you, you're kidding. We just scored big. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what man, did you think was in there? I thought it was a whole bunch of green, man. I was like, all right, we can, I'm sure nobody will miss that. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, man. I got gotcha. you. You didn't watch my Impala video, did you? No. Somebody oh. slashed the seat. They're leather seats, right? Uh -huh. Somebody cut the front seat right down here. So now they cut through the foam and everything. So you oh. could... Uh-huh. That's yeah. smart. Very smart. Yeah. Okay. I think my car may have at one point been involved with drugs. That's <laughs> why I'm... I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm relatively sure. Fire this thing up, man. See what you think. This, I can't hardly get in it. Well, you just got to learn to start jumping. Yeah. That's that's what I do. There's that shoulder too. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what Mike thinks of the of the ram. Ooh. Oh. The engine ticking will stop eventually. It's got a nice exhaust. I like that. See? And people have to get out of your way because you could just run them over. Oh, this is nice. And then my thing is always like, does the AC work? Because if the AC doesn't work, I don't even want it. I don't want anything without air conditioning. There you go. Oh. Oh. Wow. What was that? That's uh, probably healthy. AC is mm. ice cold. And it's 4x4, four four, Mike. So on those snowy days, you could go yeah. off-roading with your ducks. I Imagine taking your ducks to the lake. Look at that. You could set them in the lake, let them swim around. They'd never come back. They wouldn't. They would never come back. <laughs> this would match my ducks, too. 
This is nice, 150,000 miles. Any warning lights on? Like uh, check engine or? Tire pressure. Oh, big deal. Check engine. Oh, well. But it tells you coolant, 100 degrees. Transmission, 78 degrees. Oil temperature, 104. Oil, 42 PSI. That's kind of cool. It but seems to run great. It's minus 40 degrees. Really? Yeah. It's negative Why are we hot? 40. Boy, I'm sweating balls out here, man. It's <laughs> negative 40. I got the AC <laughs> turned on trying to keep cool. <laughs> wow. I can't wait for fall, man. I'm excited. Oh, this is nice. See, you need a truck like this. I do. You really, I really do. do. You pop the hood. Let's let's just take a peek under there. It does sit kind of high, doesn't it? It is, it is a little high off the ground. Let's take a peek under the hood. Oh, somebody put an aftermarket grill on here to make it look like a Raptor. Look, it, they made it look like a Raptor. They put the little, oh. the, the little lights. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do they come on? I'll bet they do. I'll bet they do. Let's find out, do they work? Nope, they, they nope. it's just They're for totally it's just for looks. And then they spray painted it and all the paint's coming off of it, so. This looks like that's an aftermarket horn. Oh hell, let me stand back. Let me stand back. Let's see. That's it. That's that's not very impressive. That sounded like a factory horn. Yeah. No cold air intake or anything. I actually like seeing that, man, because it tells you a lot about who owned the truck. You know, they may have put some wheels on it, maybe lifted it, but they probably weren't racing it. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a good truck, I really do. Mike, you got some money in your pocket to spend. I don't know if I have this You got money, some spending like money. Well, let's find out how much this thing should go for. It doesn't guarantee what it will go for, but yeah. it's always interesting to find out like what you should expect to pay for something at the auction. So I use Black Book Cherry and it's it's accurate a lot of the time, uh -huh. not most of the time. And if you deal in any kind of weird oddball cars like police cars, or like today I'm bidding on a 93 or 94 uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse. Yeah. You remember those? Or I'm sorry, mine is an Eagle Talon. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. Dodge version or whatever. The kind. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm bidding on one of those, and you put it, you plug it in, and it tells you it's worth nothing. Well, that's not true because there's a there's like a cult following for those cars. It's absolutely worth money. So you can't. But on normal, just regular cars, it works pretty dang good. You click VIN scan, and you just hold it up to the sticker, and look at that. It's already got it. It already knows. And then it's just going to ask me for the mileage, and it's 150. That's a lot of numbers. Let <laughs> me. Let me sit this down real quick. 150, and then you click apply, and then it tells you, oh, wow. Yeah, you're right, Mike. This may be a little out of your budget. It's out of mine, too, so. Uh, 10,875. Wow. Would you pay 11 grand for this? No. I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. You know what I would do? I would go find one of those pedal cars, the pedal trucks. I would go, which may be what I found for you the other day. Yeah, uh, it's been sitting at least ten years. At least it's covered in moss and oh, that's perfect. Oh yeah, it cranks too. That's all it does. But it it it, it is it's 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 nasty. I bet it goes for nothing. That's what I would do. I would buy something like that for like five hundred bucks mm -hmm. and do what you got to do to get it running, that's and then just drive it yeah. before I would pay eleven thousand dollars. This has been zip tight. Too. Oh, this has all been painted. Yeah, there's trash in the paint. Yeah, see what I mean? The zip tie. That's professional. That's Oh, it's in here too, Mike. It's zip tied in there too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good eye. I I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have caught that. <laughs> it's Yeah, there's uh, nothing holding the wheel liner to the yeah. $11,000 and uh this could be yours. Now, I will tell you this, the I am a sucker for these new ones, man. And I don't even I don't even care about Chevy. I don't really like Chevy anymore. I'm not a not really a GM fanboy because well, because of my Corvette. Ever since I bought a brand new Corvette and it blew up and I won't stop harping on that. It was 2019 and I'm still angry about that and the way I was treated by General Motors. 
you broke down right outside the dealership yeah. with just a fence in between you yeah. and they couldn't help you out. No, and I sat there for two hours waiting for OnStar to come get me. And I called the dealer, I said, is there any way you guys could just come like pick me? I can leave the car here. Can you just pick me up so I can sit inside? Listen, that dealership, I'll say one good thing about it. Bob, Howard, is it? Cadillac, GMC, Buick, all that. Well, the Chevy dealer has Chick-fil-A for breakfast for the customers. I kid you not, Chick-fil-A biscuits, like a basket full of them. You can go into like their customer service area or whatever, and there's yeah. just a basket of biscuits, Chick-fil-A biscuits. I, I got my money. I got my 10 grand out of out of those damn biscuits. That's, that's a lot of biscuits. <laughs> so how do you think I, I, gained, I gained so much weight? Yeah. It's that Chick-fil-A is what it is. So I'm just, I'm not really a big GM fan because of that, but also GMs have defective engines from the factory to this day, and they've never fixed it. This has been going on since, I don't know, 2008, 2009, something like that. And it's still a problem and they still haven't resolved it. And it leaves customers stuck. If this has the the 6.2 liter, and it says it does on the hood, but it's probably lying. It's probably just a 5.3. So somebody bought some AutoZone stick-ons oh. and they stuck it on the hood because these trucks all come with their displacement on the hood, right? It's, that never happens. Unless it's an Allison, it's a Dirty Max. Um, but these engines are very expensive. These are very expensive engines. Where is the uh, emissions label? Over here. What does this say? I'll bet it's a 5.3. I guarantee this is not a 6.2. It is a 6.2. Well, I'll be. I'll be danged. That's the, that's the big engine. That's, that's the one they put the Escalades and the Yukon Denali's. And those are the good ones? There are no good ones. GM does not make a good engine. Oh, okay. that's, the, that's the problem. <laughs> yes, they're great motors, man. They'll pull anything. They'll pull a house down. They're generally really reliable, but they just have this one defect with the active fuel management. Mm -hmm. And I think they call it displacement on demand. The lifters collapse. I think it's got four. Yeah, it's got four lifters that are designed to open and close to shut off the cylinders. Well, they all eventually fail. Mm -hmm. They will all eventually fail. And when they do, the, uh, the lifters start getting stuck. Instead of spinning around freely, they get stuck and it wears out. And they, they turn sideways and get stuck with the roller on the cam the opposite direction where it should be. And it destroys the cam, sends metal through the oil pan into the oil pump. And before you know it, if you're not careful, you will have a completely destroyed engine. And these engines are thousands. Like used, mm. you're probably looking at $4,000 for an engine. Mm. And it can happen at 50,000 miles. It can happen at 100, 150, 170. You just don't know. And for me, it's like, why would I spend that much money on a new truck? Mm. The new Escalades, too. They have the same problem. Really? Yeah, they've all had this, they've had this problem forever. GM knows about it. And they do nothing to rectify it. Nothing. They just leave their customers stuck. If it blows up, well, you're screwed unless it happens under warranty. But even if they put a new engine in it, it's going to happen again. It will absolutely happen again. So I can't justify, yeah. even though I love the look of this truck, yeah. I mean, I think it's a, GM makes some good looking trucks. They really do. But unfortunately, they, they got pretty crappy motors, man. And because of that, I. I just can't buy one, so I stick to Ford or Ram. Ram. I think Mike found his dream car. This is a good looking car. A Buick. You know these are golfers cars, right? Golfers drive Buicks. Did you know that? Well, I'm at that golfing age. <laughs> You've been at that golfing age for hey, a while. Now. <laughs> so what do you think of this? What do you, because I know you're not really a GM fan, and I, I'm not anymore either. It's a good looking car. It looks very kind of like a Mercedes, I think. It doesn't look like a Buick. No. Is what I like about it. At all. It's a huge departure from what Buick was always known for, which was kind of grandma, grandpa style of cars. This one actually, I don't, I, I don't want to say that it looks cool because then I'm probably not going to be cool anymore. But I feel like, I feel like it's actually a kind of cool looking car. The two door, the convertible top. I don't know what this guy is doing. See, well, get my bag right there. I like it. That's all I can tell you. I like this car. Now we've got some 
delaminating back here between the window and the seal, so that will have to be addressed. But aside from that, the top's in good shape, a little bit of wear over here. There's some scratches here, but I mean, it's a used car, you know, what do you, so many people go out looking for a used car and they want to pay used car prices, but they want perfection. They want a perfect car. You're never going to find a perfect used car. I have bought brand new cars that were not perfect. I'm like a Corvette, my like Corvette. Corvette. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was not perfect. I had to send it down to Brian at the auto spot, have it corrected <laughs> because of how bad, and it was on the showroom floor. It's not like it sat Ooh. outdoors. So. I found one of these before at Copart. Oh, this one's rough. This one's a little rough, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the trim has fallen off and this must have some miles. It's only got 43,000 miles. That's that GM quality, Mike. That's it. Look at this. My trim piece is falling off too. But, but does yours have 43,000 miles? I'm just oh, about this side right here. you don't have one of these? I thought Mike for sure had one of these Buicks sitting in his driveway. You're missing your knob. I'm a I'm missing a lot of things. <laughs> it's, oh wow, I'm sitting way back. Like, I can't, again, what is with this, man? I, I, <laughs> I guess you don't need to hold the steering wheel, right? That's it, what it's your knees for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I could, that's about the only way. Why would someone ride like this? This is an uncomfortable seat. <sighs> well, mine, I'm almost laying down. I don't get why people do this, like, this is such a low miles car and it is in really rough shape. Oh, and it doesn't run well either. The top's not secure. Top's, oh, oh, whoa. Oh, wow. That's that GM quality here, guys. Mm -hmm. You saw it here first. It's running absolutely horribly. Oh, lots of grease. Yeah. Smell that. I farted. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> he smells his finger. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> <laughs> you could have done that better. <laughs> oh <laughs> you smell that? <laughs> I farted. <laughs> okay. I, I got a story. I got a little oh, story to <laughs> got a little story to tell. Um, Is it still on? Yeah, it's running. Okay. It's it seems like it's running a little better. I found one of these at Copart. Some of you guys may remember, and it sat at Copart for years and years and years, uh, at least two years for sure. It does, it smells a little. Oh. Oh, it has a little seat. Like a Mercedes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got a hold of Copart years later, and I said, hey, this car is still sitting here. I was wondering if you guys might just want to sell it, you know, like outright. and. Uh, my guy at Copart said, let me contact the regional manager or whatever, and, and we'll see what's going on with this car because they said in their system it was already sold, but it was still sitting there. They didn't even know it was still sitting there. So he gets a hold of me days later, and he says, hey, man, uh, thank you for telling us about the car. The person that bought it had it shipped to them. Somebody bought it years ago and forgot about it. How do you do that? I, they, forgot, <laughs> they forgot about their car. How? I don't know, but I reminded him. I thought, you know, maybe, uh, maybe a little monetary compensation for saving the guy however many thousands of dollars he paid for that car years ago. No. You just, think they got this? Oh, we already paid for it, though. Yeah, the guy had already paid for it. Yeah, the car was paid for, oh, wow. and that's why Copart forgot about it. It got stuck in a back row somewhere, man. I noticed you'd go there and it'd be moved. Like the loaders kept moving the car all over the yard, mm -hmm. and it just got forgotten some <laughs> and no finders fee nothing no thank you no thank no. you nothing i got nothing if somebody found a car that i paid thousands of dollars for and forgot about it, i don't have that kind of money all right i wish i did but i don't have enough money to buy a car and leave it sitting somewhere for two or three years and go oh wait a minute yeah where's that buick i bought yeah anyway that's the end of story time i think that's about the end of this video so it's about a 30 minute video and we're just getting started so we're gonna get out of here if you don't know who monkey wrench mike is well you should but yeah. i got a lot of <laughs> i got a lot of i got a lot of new subscribers man they're coming in like crazy it's it's wild how many people are subscribing to the channel i just hit 390 the other day and now i'm at like 390,500. wow so i don't nice. know where you all are coming from but thank you so much for subscribing to the channel i appreciate it now go subscribe to him as well he's monkey wrench mike and i'll put his link 
directly below this video. He's funny. He smells farts, sniffs his fingers, and <laughs> catches and my shop on fire. Yeah, laughs, laughs at my stupid jokes that aren't even funny. Yeah, he's a great guy. Go check him out. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.